Want to know what this flightless bird, kiwi fruit, and World War II have in common? You're going to learn that and more in this episode of How It Grows. Kiwi fruit is native to eastern China. Mary Isabel Fraser brought kiwi fruit to New Zealand in 1904, where they were referred to as Chinese gooseberries. California first experimented with kiwi fruit in 1934, when the USDA first grew vines at their plant introduction station in Chico, California. 98% of all kiwi fruit grown in the US comes from California. The plants can be either male or female, and they can take up to seven years to reveal their sex. And ain't nobody got time for that. So the plants are propagated asexually by grafting fruit-bearing vines onto rootstock that's been grown from seedlings. And the vines can produce fruit for 40 years or longer. So what made kiwi fruit go viral? American military stationed in New Zealand during World War II loved kiwi fruit. And just like that, they were coming to America. In fact, if you take a kiwi fruit and hold it up to your ear closely, you can hear Neil Diamond. <laughs> just kidding. By the 1950s, kiwi fruit was a hit. But kiwi fruit had one major problem, the name. It was the 1950s, the era of drive-in movies, poodle skirts, soda fountains, and Elvis. For it was the Cold War, and frankly, the name Chinese gooseberry had major commie vibes. So New Zealand farmers renamed the fruit. They named it after the flightless bird endemic to the area, the kiwi. California alone produces about 50,000 tons of kiwi fruit every year. No surprise, in fact, we grow over 400 different commodities here in California and over 50% of the nation's fresh produce. And every part of the kiwi is edible. Yes, even the skin. From round, smooth, and yellow, to furry and brown and fuzzy, there are over 50 different species of kiwi fruit. So how does this delicious berry get from Golden State farmers to you? U.S. grown kiwis come from California's temperate River Valley area, with Sacramento and the San Joaquin Valley areas being the largest producers. And here's the thing, they grow just like grapes, only much, much bigger. One male vine is planted for every eight female vines to ensure proper production. The male vines make the pollen, the female vines bear the fruit, and some honeybees help them do the rest. The vines first start producing leaves in March, and by May, they're flowering. The first sign of fruit happens during the summer, and by October, farm workers begin harvesting. This is skilled labor. The farm workers go under the vines and by hand, very carefully, snap the stem away from the vine. The farm workers then carefully place that picked fruit in a cloth sling. It's kind of like a marsupial pouch for farm workers. The fruit is then transferred into bins, where it's then loaded onto tractors and then into trucks. And from there, the fruit goes from the farm to the packing facility. It's then inspected for quality where it's graded based on its shape, size, and its weight. And then it's onto your produce aisle. We farm 7,000 acres here in California every year. And that's how kiwi fruit went from China to California to you.